know you. There's no hard feelings. I want you to take the night off, Rock. Wait, anyway, before you leave, before the Rock leaves, come here for a second. Rock, rock, <laughs> this is... This... Oh, oh! No, sorry. <laughs> that will always be one of the funniest clubs. <laughs> what do you mean? Rock, want to tell you something. <laughs> Bitch. Shut the fuck up. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out WWE The Rock's most savage moments. So apparently, uh, Viper Incarnate show, they uh, gave me a little bit of a shout out on this video. So we're gonna see exactly where it is. Someone said, yo, you gotta check this video out. Uh, they shouted you out. So I think they do know that I uh, react to their videos, like their compilations and stuff like that. And a lot of the rock moments I have already seen before, but I just wanna see where they actually put the shout out, out, shout out in the video. So if you haven't already subscribed to them, if you're a fan of like the, the older wrestling clips and like promos and uh, compilations, you go subscribe to Viper Incarnate Show. Uh, I've already subscribed to him. Go check him out. And uh, let's see exactly where did they put the, the, the shout out in the video. I want to see this. I'm excited. I mean, it's The Rock. I, I, I can never not want to watch The Rock. No Happy matter how many times I see the clips. Steph. You're a hoe with big breasts. <laughs> <laughs> that man beside you, your manager, has Twinkie tits. Whatever you do. Pull your pants down and prove to Kane that you're not a woman. No. <laughs> Benoit and uh, The Rock's feud, they had, they had, they had a pretty intense feud. I, I love their feud. And now The Rock's not talking about the winner of the match gets five minutes with your wife. No, no. Quite frankly, everybody's already had that. <laughs> Who is and this Rudy Pooh? Poo. <laughs> You overgrown 500 pound bag yeah. of monkey crap. I like how he just picked up Vince. Excuse me, Vince. <laughs> Respect. Rikishi, you can wipe your 400 pound ass with your feelings. Oh my gosh. Can I have your attention? Michael Cole, if you take one more step towards that computer, The Rock will get out of here and slap the taste so far out of your mouth, you'll never get it back. <laughs> Is that what you like? You like the Copa? Yeah. I... Well, Copa your ass on out of here, Jabroni. <laughs> <laughs> Admit it, Lillian. You get wet. <laughs> I love this With clip. With perspiration. With perspiration. Now, before you go home and make... Can we admit The Rock's drip? His like his drips, his his shirts with the Versace and Gucci. I don't think it was Gucci. I think it was more so like for the old school Versace shirts, bro. Bro, his drip. Ooh, he he was mm, he had the drip for days, bro. I always loved the way The Rock came out. He's like, bro, he was just you knew he was too cool. You knew he he was the drip god back then for sure. Babies with Linda. As for The Rock is concerned, you are now and will forever be an asshole. Hit him with a rock bottom. <laughs> you are a short head, seven feet, 500 pound piece of steaming, stinking, grade A monkey truck. <laughs> Since you just want to find things. Oh boy. <laughs> you go ahead and find the penis Benoit claims he has. <laughs> so you can either be a man, come on in here and read it to my face, or you can sit in your little glass box looking like a drunk hobbit jack bag. <laughs> just this is when Michael Cole was <laughs> Hated by everybody. He was so obnoxious on commentary. Oh to show God. you, there's no hard feelings. I want you to take the night off, Rock. Wait, before you leave, before the Rock leaves, come here for a second. Rock, Rock, <laughs> this one is. This... <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> that will always be one of the funniest clubs. <laughs> what do you mean? Rock want to tell you something. <laughs> Bitch. Shut the fuck up. I'm sorry. So we gotta watch that. <laughs> Y'all can't tell me the disrespect there is. It's just, it's just unmatched, bro. Just what we gotta watch this again. Before the rock leaves, come here for a second. Rock wants to tell you one thing. 
stupid bitch. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute now. I make pretty damn good movies. I'm not making the Marine for Christ's sake. I'm a... <laughs> One of the most physically impressive specimens the WWF has ever seen. And you say this? Why are you booing me? Go get boo me! Oh, shut your mouth! <laughs> Big Daddy called the Rock's ass more like Big Daddy bitch! Rest in peace, Scott, man. While you were on Nitro, and you were given all your creative genius, all your creative input to WCW, The Rock was doing his part about putting your company out of business. Mm. What is wrong with you? I was born in this town! It doesn't anything. matter where you are born! <laughs> <laughs> the man who said that quote, Lance Armstrong, he was full of crap, and so are you. Damn. Well, right, yeah, you wear your little thing, you're looking like a blind nun. All right, hey, do me a favor and park the rock's truck. <laughs> it could be the rock and DX in a handicap match. It could be the rock and Stephanie in a stick 50 balloons right up your <laughs> back. <laughs> There's a very special woman that the rock wanted to sing a very special song to tonight. There you are, Vicky. And I said, no, biatch, you look horrible tonight. <laughs> so the Rocks come to one conclusion, China. She's China, no you just need to get some. Yep, and this China is so disrespectful. Put her down on her knees where she belongs. This is so disrespectful, oh, bro. You look pretty damn good on your knees, China. It almost looks like a natural position. <laughs> you can't do this nowadays, boy. You get canceled. Shut your eyes. And enjoy the magic of the rock. No way he would ever kiss a piece of trash like you. <laughs> Jonathan Coachman, the coach. Ah, uh, nobody cares about you. <laughs> who the hell you think you are? The rock will be the guy who get in that ring, tighten his shoes, and whoop your ass. <laughs> <laughs> to say the least, the rock is something you're not undisputed champion, so shut up, bitch. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> Fifteen thousand of the Rock's hometown fans calling you. You are an asshole. Oh man, the Rock and was just one of the best to ever do it. Soul man Rocky Johnson whooping your daddy's ass. <laughs> Grandmammy, your mammy. They all complain. Hell, the Rock's grandmama, his mama, right there, slap the lips off all two of them bitches. One day, I'm gonna whip your son's candy ass. Well, just like The Rock left his heart in San Francisco, you have clearly left your balls in Stamford, Connecticut. He's just, he's just good at what he does, bro. He has charisma just... He, totally <laughs> he just has charisma everywhere. And shove it up his ass. I guess he didn't tell her that he's got a wife. Let's ride. Oh, wow. <laughs> Climb a tree, scratch an itch, make Hulk Hogan The Rock's little... <laughs> What's up with that? What's up with that? Who in the green hell? Oh, you're the Hamburglar. His segment with Hurricanes was always funny, bro. He's like, oh, you're the Hamburglar. <laughs> Who in the blue hell are you? I'm the WCW champion, sucker. You're the WCW champion sucker. <laughs> What's amazing is the fact that you are that entertaining when you still wear llama penises strapped to your head. What? Take all of John Cena's trash, <laughs> all of his hot garbage, and we're going to throw it where it belongs. John Cena t-shirt. There goes that. Waking up to this face every morning. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, <laughs> time to get your ass whooped. Rock. I'm not going to lie. John Cena and The Rock, like, they're back and forth when they were going at each other for WrestleMania. Oh, I forgot which WrestleMania it was, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, the first time around was fun, bro. Those promo segments were cool. Even the second time around, it was entertaining. Like, they, they were really shooting at each other. Like, this wasn't, like... There was some real backstage tension because, you know, at one point John Cena has said on record he didn't like The Rock for, like, just how he left. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't really – it's like he left wrestling in WWE to be a star, which is kind of what John is doing now. But that's neither here nor there at the time. That's how John felt behind the scenes. And The Rock, you know, had his his dislike for him as well. But it worked. It was, it was so good. I, I enjoyed it their little promos they had leading up to WrestleMania.
I stuck a feather up his ass and called him a jabroni. How is it that, uh... Wow. <laughs> Hello, Ross. That's cool, man. Appreciate you uh, for uh, giving me a little shout out. That, hey, man. <laughs> I love the compilations. Keep doing your thing, bro. That's dope. That, that that's dope that just that made my day that made my day hello ross that's awesome uh you came up with the name coach well actually when i was a little kid it was a nickname to battle with, you came up with the name coach. <laughs> this coming from a man who took a sacred vow of marriage to the biggest slut in the western hemisphere <laughs> the rock has come back to tehran to run his mouth on all your <laughs> The Rock gets more pie in a week than you get in a lifetime. <laughs> the biggest thing to hit Canada because the maple leaves suck. Oh. Well, he, screw you. he was so good as a heel, too. A lot of people like to say their best run of The Rock is when he came back as Hollywood Rock. You know, kind of like the Hollywood Hogan, but he was he was like a, hot, a movie star. He was arrogant. And, you know, people were booing him because of that, but it, he played up to it, and it worked. Anybody knows anything about screwing? It's, it's you. you. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you. I would much rather slap your lying face with a piece of kung pao chicken. Get the hell out of you at WrestleMania, Jack. And then walk away before I slap the lips off your face. Mm. Rock went to visit Lana's favorite place in the city, the Meat Packing District. <laughs> and you need to stop dressing like a Soviet streetwalker. But it's too bad you're walking around here like somebody shoved a Smirnoff bottle up your Putin. And you looking like a broke-ass Burger King on crack. Hey, yo. <laughs> Don't Rest sing it. Bring it. Whoa. Rest in peace, Scott. Would you just say, Chico? <laughs> As you stand there surrounded by a silver spoon jackass and by a bargain basement. Oh my god, bro. Because The Rock is right here. You know they can't talk like that nowadays. Oh. In Sacramento. The Rock is gonna leave Sacramento. <laughs> but I'll be sure to come back when the Lakers beat the Kings in May. <laughs> but all that is deep is in the past. And now Austin can kiss The Rock's ass. Actually, frankly speaking, it's the biggest bucket of penguin piss The Rock has ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this is, like I said, I don't care how many times I've seen some of these clips, bro. I will always be willing to check out a Rock montage because it's just it's what I grew up on. He's hilarious, entertaining, and I hope and pray they are, they, they've been teasing and I, I believe uh, Roman has said at a recent house show, uh, he was basically talking down to The Rock. Like, I'll beat The Rock's ass too recently. So they've been teasing it. This is, they got to make this happen next year at WrestleMania in LA. It only makes sense. They got to make this happen, bro. If they don't make it happen next year, then it's, it's probably not going to happen anytime soon. Because that would be the perfect time they've been teasing it. I just, I just want, I can't wait to see the promo segments. They're going to be fantastic. They're going to be great. And ultimately, I think that would probably be The Rock's last match wrestling. Because he doesn't need to face anybody else. He's done it all. If there's anything, he needs to face Roman Reigns. And he needs to obviously put over Roman. So, but comment down below. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. What's your favorite Rock moment from this video? It has to be The Rock slapping the dog piss out of Vince McMahon in the limo. I thought that was hilarious, man. But appreciate all the love and support. Road to 80K, we're almost there. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.